Now, weather from the Northwest First Alert Weather Center. Welcome back, everybody, and happy Easter. I'm meteorologist Scott Ellis in the First Alert Weather Center. Boy, we have had quite a change. Some near record temperatures in Portland yesterday, some sunshine in Seattle, but boy, things have changed dramatically out there right now. Let's take a look at our live uh, camera out in Bellevue showing the gray skies, overcast conditions, and even a few raindrops sitting on that camera. I've done everything I can. Nothing seems to be helping. Another shot out at Port Angeles showing widespread overcast throughout the area. That is our fate for, mm, let's call it the next couple of days. But things will be changing on top of the change. So that's the good news. What we've got going on right now is essentially the jet stream is heading off to the south of us. Eventually, this will start to head up north, which is really not so good for our weather. But what we're currently taking a look at is an area of low pressure up around Alaska that is also then bringing down a trough of low pressure in our area. That's what bringing in all of our weather, then flanked by high pressure. This is the high pressure that brought us the sunshine. Now moving off to the east, this trough is going to continue to move in. This system will continue moving down as the jet stream comes up. That is what is going to bring us our continued showery weather for the next couple days. There's a change coming though. Stay tuned. Mid 50s for much of the Puget Sound area going to be on the damp side, but scattered showers. Some areas will actually see plain old rain, but uh, all in all, it's going to be a, a very scattered day with some overcast conditions. Out to the coast, a little bit more damp perhaps, but still a nice looking day. Pushing up near 60 into Kelso, only mid 40s though for Stampede Pass. It's going to be overcast throughout the entirety of the Northwest. Get used to it. Portland, in fact, will be probably looking at more rain and showers. Upper 50s though expected for Vancouver. Same thing into Portland. Out along the coast. Damp once again. Mid 50s for your areas around Eugene, down towards Medford, getting into the 60s though. North Bend only going to creep into the low 50s. And again, the coastal regions will be likely some of the dampest areas. Little bit of sunshine around Boise today, although those clouds are going to be increasing throughout the day, so don't expect it to stick around for very long. Boise getting in the low 60s, a lot of scattered shower activity on the lee side of the Cascades in Oregon. But here's, if you want the sunshine, some of that high pressure still lingering around the eastern portions of Washington. However, there will be some scattered showers sort of mixed in with there. But look at these nice looking temperatures. Tri-Cities, Hanford getting up towards the mid 60s, low 60s expected for Pendleton. Now, we did see this change. We got another change coming. In fact, let's talk about that in our five day forecast. The showers for Spokane today giving way to more showers on Monday. Then it's around Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see a slight break, but as you can see, much cooler temperatures around Spokane. Seattle, our next change beyond this change will be Tuesday, Wednesday. I actually think we're going to get a little bit of sunshine in the area after some scattered showers, both for Easter and your post Easter Monday. Portland looking fairly similar, though I think Portland's going to be hanging on to bit more cloud activity all the way through midweek, though mid 50s expected for the highs, mid 50s all the way through until Thursday, but overnight lows not so bad into the low 40s. Boise, some sunshine today, but increasing clouds throughout the day, scattered showers on Monday and cooling down into the mid 50s. Then Tuesday looking pretty good, but Wednesday looking grand with upper 50s and low, low to mid 60s on Thursday.